What's going on, Peanuts fans? This is Chris Strabick of the Potomac Nationals getting ready for today's game, and I'm joined by Peanuts right-handed pitcher Jeremy McKinney. Jeremy, first and foremost, thank you for joining me here today. We we're just talking about last night's game, a good win for the Peanuts over the Lynchburg Hillcats to close out a series victory. You come on in the sixth inning, a 4-3 ball game, tying run on third, and two outs to go with the best part of the order up for Lynchburg. Yeah. What's your mindset going into a jam like that, thinking, man, I had to keep this run on third still with two outs to go? Um, really, it's get the guy out. Um, I'm, my focus isn't at the runner at third, although he is a big, important run. Um, but the, the, the important focus was to get the guy at the plate rather than worrying about the guy at third base. And I feel like nowadays relievers, you know, you're focused on the ERA, but you also want to help out. You know, in this instance, Yohan Baez last night to start for you guys, making sure those inherited runners don't score. That's something you think about, making sure you're helping out yourself and helping out your teammates? Um, I've started to hear a lot about the inherited yeah. ERA. Um, I, I, it's kind of becoming a big thing. And honestly, it's... I, I don't like giving up other guys' runs. If I'm going to give up a run, it's going to be mine. You know, and and uh, getting getting by as his run to stay at third, I mean, I thought it was a big thing, and it, and it helped momentum towards our team to win last night. Yeah, big time win last night. It was 4-3 to three. eventually. Nick Basto hit a two-run home run late to secure the 6-3 win and the series victory, and so that was important coming off. A little bit of a slide here at home the last time out. How important it was it last night to secure the win and really get a good jump start in the series here against Frederick? You know, I tell you, they're, they were in first place, going to their place. It's, we figured, you know, it's going to be tough. Hadn't been doing well to the second half. And uh, so we were like, let's get the wins, you know. Let's let's do what we got to do. Let's, let's start it back up. And getting the wins that we got at uh, Lynchburg was it's a big momentum change for us. And hopefully we can transfer that over to these games against Frederick. Yeah, heading into the Frederick Keys series here, the first game of a four-game set here at Northwest Federal Field. And it comes on the eve of a little bit of news here for the Peanuts. Two guys, Jordan Mills, James Burke, well deserve up to double-A. They got promoted. So how does someone like yourself as well the rest of the bullpen, which has been fantastic all season long, how do you keep things moving? We just got to step up even more. I mean, Mills and Burke were a huge part of our bullpen. Um, but that's not an excuse to, you know, start doing bad. We uh, The whole bullpen has to step up. We have to eat up innings that we can. And... We got to keep doing what we do best. And to close out here, how do you personally right now, you know, you have a two ERA, the lowest in the team amongst all qualifiers. How do you keep your success here in the 2018 season? You know, I, I don't really think about or worry about ERA or any of that stuff. I, I just, I go out there, I pitch, I, I, I do what I love, and I just, I keep doing what I, what I try to do. You know, I keep trying to pitch, don't worry about the any of the other stuff around me. Well, Jeremy and the Peanuts getting set here for a four-game stretch against the Frederick Keys. You can check out all four games this weekend right here at Northwest Federal Field at Fitzner Stadium.